2030 comes, everyone's extremely excited. Things seem to be going very well. We won the war with China or whatever it is. Uh, the robot plumbers are are amazing. Uh, but now, oops, like basically our whole economy is being run by uh, super intelligences and our entire government is basically being advised by very charismatic, very persuasive super intelligences at every level. And like they're integrated into the military and you know, so, and and at some point, there's just enough integration into everything that uh, the sort of treacherous turn can happen, and there's nothing we can do about it. And again, in this story, the the problem basically happens earlier on during the intelligence explosion when you've like had your when you have AIs that are smarter than you, and you're trusting them to like do the research to make the even next the generation and so forth, and you're like trusting them for advice about general strategy and so forth and you're letting them talk to all your employees and you have them do your cybersecurity because they're so much better at it than you and so forth um you basically are setting yourself up for this situation where they can if they want to put themselves in a position to sort of like gradually entrench their power and uh and there's not much you'll be able and, and, and once once you let that happen it's sort of hard to recover from that you know in some sense baby versions of this are happening all the time right like hallucinations right model will, will tell you something that is false. Oftentimes, it totally knows that it's false. In fact, this is something in the O1 report, right? They, they looked at, they like read the chains of thought or something automatically to detect signs of the chain of thought being deceptive. And they're like, oh yeah, this happens like 1% of the time. And we like spot checked some of those 1%. And it seems like sometimes it was more innocent, but sometimes it was like, uh, the system knows that it's a hallucination and is like, pushing this anyway because they just want the user to like you know sign off on whatever they're doing or whatever there certainly hasn't been any like serious plot to overthrow humanity or anything like that as far as i know um but um but but definitely we have evidence that like our alignment techniques aren't really working that well like we have evidence that like just because anthropic says their models are helpful harmless and honest doesn't mean that they actually always are sometimes they are like deliberately dishonest for example um all of this is going to come to a head sometime during the intelligence explosion like when you have your ais doing the alignment research either they will just actually do it and do it well and then you'll have a next generation system that is actually always honest and doesn't have any of these problems or they will not do it well and you will have a next generation system that appears to always be honest but is actually just biding its time